If you have a grid tied solar system, you know that you have a major problem. And that is when the grid goes down or the power goes out, you lose power as well. Even though you have all of these solar panels out here or all of those solar panels up on your roof, you still lose power because that is the way that the power company has set it up. But we've got a solution for you that allows you to keep using all of the solar panels on your roof, keep using that grid tied inverter and have a backup power system that will run indefinitely when the power goes out. Let's go check it out. We're here in Chino Hills, California, and we're gonna simulate the grid going down on this house right here. So Carol welcomed us into the house here, explained the whole system to me. And this system is just like a lot of yours on the outside. They've got all the solar panels up on the roof, just like you do. They've got the grid tied inverter, just like you, the disconnect and all of that. But now this has been added to that system and allows them to be off grid. All right, we're shutting the door to the garage. Lights are all on in here. Jules? Throw the main breaker. Really? Turn the power off. Okay. Kill it. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Go. Do it. Wait. You're gonna have to push hard. I think we have to tell her. No, we don't. She already told her. <laughs> I'm sure she already told her. <laughs> Turn it off. Oh. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> oh, oh, we're done. We're off grid. We just shut the whole power off to the house. We are no longer connected to the grid, but everything's being powered. Look right here. We are off grid. Batteries are at 100% and we're putting 2.4 kilowatts into the house right now. We've got two systems here running in parallel, powering the house. This is the solution to, to everybody that has a, a grid tied solar system, but when the power goes out, you lose power too. Even though you've got all of that power sitting up on your roof and the sun is shining, you can't use it. This is the solution. Let's check out how it works. The power from the solar panels comes into this Tesla inverter. It runs down through here and it goes through here into here. But instead of being connected up to all of this right here, it goes through the wall. And as it comes through the wall, it comes into this main box right here. This is where all of the, like the brains are and the controls for everything working is all inside of here. After it comes through here, then it goes over to the batteries and these inverters. So when we turned the power off to the house right here, this disconnected it from the grid, but the power coming in from the solar panels is right here. It's still coming into the system and that inverter that's outside still thinks that it's connected to the grid, but it's not. It's connected to what they're calling a micro grid that is actually only your house. So the power is coming in from the solar panels and that's why our batteries, right, they're still at 100% because we're operating off of the 7,000 watts of solar panels on the roof. But what happens tonight when the sun goes down, because we're gonna stay here all night and keep this thing shut off all night. We're not really, but what happens at night when the sun goes down? Well, then you start using your batteries. The batteries begin to drain from the batteries then. It comes through these two inverters right here. These are each 6,000 watt inverters. It comes into the panel here through this one right here and this one right here. It comes down through here up to all of the loads that are in the house, keeping the house completely powered. 
tomorrow morning when the sun comes out and the grid is still down because we haven't turned this on yet or you're in an emergency situation and the grid's down, then solar power comes in through here from that Tesla inverter, comes in, charges the batteries and runs the house during the day. At night, the same cycle continues again. It operates just like a normal off-grid system. This is a 2,000 square foot, five bedroom, three bath house, and we've been powering it completely off of these units right here. You notice we've used up some of the batteries because the clouds have come over and we're now running actually off of the batteries, not so much just off of the solar on the roof. You guys have seen our system wires everywhere. Check this out, sleek design, totally safe. You're not gonna get shocked. It's not gonna catch on fire. Your kids can come out here and like play with it. You could, you could hug it if you want. It's totally safe, right? All of this is done so that it can be in your garage and people can be around it. It's really thin. It's only 5.9 inches thick. And you can, I mean, you can see how tall it is with me being right here. Also, a little, a little touch of design. This blue light right here, it changed from white to anchor blue when it went off grid. It not only says off grid here, but you could just like look out of your house and just look over here and see if it's blue, the power's out. If it's white, the power's on. Take a quick look outside here with me, guys. Look at the palm trees right over here. We saw some banana trees earlier as well. So one of the things that they do not have to deal with here is cold temperatures. But these guys right here will run and operate normally all the way down to negative four degrees. And here though, an issue is the heat. They will operate normally all the way up to 131 degrees Fahrenheit. So temperature is not a problem for these units. If you've been following our channel for a while, you know that we have upgraded our system a few times and every time we upgraded, we ended up having to like get rid of parts because they weren't compatible. Batteries were old, batteries wouldn't match with these batteries and all kinds of things like that. We wasted a ton of money doing it that way. But this system is totally different. This is all modular. This is the inverter on top and these are two batteries down below it. Each of these batteries is five kilowatt hours of storage and this is a 6,000 watt inverter, 240 volts, that powers the house. Now, you can you can go from different sizes, right? Like all the way down to their smallest, which is one battery and the inverter, five kilowatt hours of storage and 3000 watts of power going to the house. But if you just add the second battery, the same inverter will convert itself like automatically to a 6000 watt inverter. And so right here, we've got 10, kilowatt hours of battery storage and 6,000 watts. On this one over here, we've got another 10 kilowatt hours and another 6,000 watts. These are both 240 volt AC. So here we've got 20 kilowatt hours of power storage and 12,000 watts of power going into the house. But you can like continue to grow this thing all the way up to 100 and 80 kilowatt hours of power storage in the batteries and 36 kilowatts of power going into the house. So let's say down the road, I can, I can add more to this. I got more money, I got a bigger budget or I have bigger power needs in the house and I wanna add more to it. I can do that. Five years down the road, I could come in and I could add another battery and it's not going to hamper the system at all because of what they call their innovative energy optimizer, which means basically that you can put new batteries in an old system. When we turned off the power, it transferred to the house super fast, 20 milliseconds. There's four basic ways that you can use this. The first one is an off-grid mode. You don't need grid power to use these things. They will work like a regular off-grid system, but if you are on grid, they are extremely helpful because the second way that you can use these is called time of use mode. Time of use mode means if you need to charge your batteries, they will charge when your power is the cheapest, not when it's expensive. The third way to use it is called NEM3 mode, and that means your batteries charge up during the day, and then when the power is most expensive or when you will make the most money selling it back to the power grid, they will dump 
as much power as they can during that time so that you make the most money selling it back to the power company. And then they have another feature that kind of overrides all of that, and that is called the Storm Guard System. So if the National Weather Service issues a weather warning for your location, these guys right here, no matter what your battery state is at, say you've been using them because it's cloudy or it's at night and your batteries are low, it will like, bam, charge the batteries up as fast as it can because there's a potential that you're gonna lose grid power, charge it all the way back up so that you are secure in your house and have backup power. Anchor's designed a pretty cool app that lets you monitor your system, see how much power you've been generating, how much power you've been using. Also to change all of the settings in the system and all of that, you can even see how much money you're making selling back to the power company. The Anchor Solix X1 comes with a 10 year warranty. And if you think you might wanna pick up the ultimate like battery backup system that incorporates into your already existing grid tied solar system, well, check out the link down in the description below because Anchor is going to send you a special offer. We're going to go ahead and uh, we'll turn their grid power back on for them. Let's go home, see what Seth and Tux are doing. Guys, we can pick out this video right over here for you to go ahead and watch next. We hope you have a really great day and keep smiling.